Hello everybody, hey it's Ken Faulkner and uh, we're back to the Faulkner 5 budget version. Um, it's week two, uh, we're creeping along here towards uh, Blade Show, getting these Faulkner 5 out of the way in the budget realm, then we're going to go for the full-blown, full uh, no, no holds barred Faulkner 5 after this, but uh, I hope this is interesting for you. It is for me. Uh, I do like uh, trying uh, this experiment of carrying a knife uh, for five days straight. It's It definitely is a bit eye-opening. Uh, I was watching um, a live stream the other day, and one of the knife makers on it um, was talking about how he carries the same knife every single day, every day. And he says, well... How can it be an EDC if you don't carry that same knife every single day? And um, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I can't see myself doing that. But this is like a little bit of a that kind of thing. You really get to know the knife a little better when you do carry it every day. That's that is the advantage of 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 having a knife that you always have. You just become so you just know that knife. Uh, you know every little bit, every little uh, nook and cranny of that knife. Um, I get a little bit of it from this, uh, five day experience. Um, you see the good and the bad, uh, we're obviously doing the budget five, which means, uh, under $50. So, uh, there's a lot of great quality there. And the five that I picked, I think have good, good quality. Uh, this is the more, more, here I am again, the more Yarl, more Yarl. You'd think uh, after carrying it for a week, I'd be able to pronounce it. Um, yeah, I like this knife. Uh, it did really well. A uh, couple little things about it that I like and a couple things that I don't. I am ai really like this blade shape. And this is something that's kind of been uh, happening lately where you get that little drop down wider uh, blade. Some of them are even more so than this. I don't know where I put it. I just had the, uh, well, hang on a second. I'll find it. If you uh, watched a couple of my videos this weekend, uh, I am disorganized with my knives. And I just, I knew I had this one. This is the Devo. Um, oh, geez. Which Devo is this? This is the one that was um, Growler. Okay, there we go. Devo Growler. And you see that that kind of that dip down from the handle, the blade gets wider, and uh, I'm a big fan of that. Um, I've seen a, other knives more recently that have that kind of shape to it. And I think that's what drew me to this one to make it part of the five. Uh, so anyway, I was saying that uh, if you saw my other videos this weekend, uh, I am not organized. And I'm looking all over and just under one of these uh, microfiber cloths on my table here, I found the growler. So <laughs> it's just the way it is. Um, it makes life exciting. You know, you, you always got to go on a little uh, Easter egg hunt. I mean, this is almost Easter coming up next week and it's uh, surprising. Um, anyhow, back to the knives, the morale. So I like that about the knife. I like this this kind of a, a slicer grind. Um, I have a 0562, which is um, from ZT, and it kind of has that kind of grind. Grind. I think it was uh, came from Hinderer, a Hinderer style of grind. If you could see the way, it's not full flat, and you got this little area up above where it's flat all the way up to this point, and then it comes down, and it's kind of a cool look. It is kind of a cool look. So, um, yeah, carried it. Worked great. Um, I did notice pocket clip works really well. Uh, very good in and out. I did notice that it was kind of thick here. Uh, when I bring the backlash here as a, as a comp comparable size, um, you can see that the backlash is a little thinner. You can see that. A little bit thinner when I try to line them up. But another thing about the backlash is that it's got these um, this area here where it's kind of chamfered down. 
so it's kind of uh, contoured in my hand and I miss that a little bit now these aren't sharp edges on here they're not sharp they do have a little radius uh, meaning it's just rounded off for a small little area but when you're holding in your hand and you're doing you know I'm doing a lot more cutting with it this week than I normally would and um, it's just not as comfortable because it's uh, if you ever watch Forged and Fire I'm a big fan of that they often talk about the, the handles being of uh, knives being blocky and it, this one's kind of squared off as opposed to this one here that has that contouring and then it gives you kind of like a more rounded area and it just it just fits a little bit better in the hand um, I like the fact that this thing has some weight to it. It's not a light knife. It's not one of these real flimsy knives. Uh, although I know a lot of people do like the lighter knives. And um, this one's super solid, which is my uh, kind of go-to. You can see how thick the liners are on this one. Very thick. Um, when you take that, that growler I was just showing you, it's got liners, but they're inset. So uh, it definitely thins that. There's a big difference in the thickness of these two knives. Um, butt to butt. So uh, even though this one is also got that uh, rounded off edges, because of the fact that it's not as thick, it fits in the hand better. So it doesn't seem to need the contouring, whereas this one's a little thicker, and therefore that contouring really helps. Hope that makes sense to you guys. Uh, probably does. You carry knives, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it doesn't, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not like it, it keeps you from being able to do what you need to do with the knife, but I just think it would be a little bit more comfortable. Um, if this were either inset liners, I do like the thickness of it because then that means your liner lock ends up really, um, really engaging. So you got a nice, solid lock up on this thing and um and it's it's nice and thick i don't like a thin liner lock i think it just it just looks and feels like it's not robust but even if they just chamfered a little bit further back the uh, g10 on here i think that would be nice the grip on this is really good um this this choil area here is good the forward finger is good um and notice one thing about this knife, if I bring out, bring out all the five, uh, we got the Backlash, we got the Beluga, there's a theme. And this just goes to show, and, it, and when, when I do these kind of things, I kind of realize what it is that I do like about knives, personally. Um, obviously, everybody's got their personal preferences, but I have always been a fan of a draw point. And all of these are drop points. And I've always been a fan of bigger knives. And these are all bigger knives. Uh, the Morale uh, or Yarl is uh, the smallest of the whole group. So I, for me, that was a little bit of a downside of it. It is plenty big for doing any cutting. It's not like I'm cutting. I'm going, man, if only this knife was just like a half inch longer. Uh, this would be better, but it's just for me. I like you can see that backlash next to it. It's just got that extra length So anyway, it's it's kind of a thing, you know, you, you go through this and you you learn something about yourself as well as about the knife So we've done the backlash. We've got done the more Yarl we uh, did the did the, uh, the spa treatment. We cleaned it up uh, it, it was the first time that I'd taken it apart um, since I bought it and uh, it wasn't super dirty but just needed to get a little cleaner I uh, didn't really notice a big action difference it's got great action um, we're using uh, just the, the slot there for the deployment one thing that I did kind of when I'm doing the thumb on um, on a knife I tend to and you see that more with like a, a thumb stud you, you get your thumbnail underneath it and pop it out and I kind of uh, don't tend to use a slot more for thumb but I did notice that I do try to get my thumb in there and it doesn't really work as well but what 
I kind of realized, and I, then kind of thinking about it, I see other people do it too, is you just get that, that meat of the thumb in there instead of trying to get that fingernail underneath there and, and then pop it out and then it works much better. So that, you know, the thumb on this one, if you do it the right way and you're not under the camera, it actually works pretty well. So, um, so where was I? Uh, moving on. Oh, oh, also sharpen it up. Uh, I wanted to mention. Um, so, when you go to sharpen a knife, you got to find what uh, what the the bevel is. It's the first time I've sharpened this one, and so I get the sharpie out and I I sharpie the edge, and then I'll since I am using the uh, the guided um, sharpening. I'm I'm fixing the angle using the device uh, on the on the work sharp precision, and I'm adjusting until I get to the point where I can wipe off all that sharpie that's on there, and then that's how I know what angle um, this this bevel is at currently, and it was at a 20 degree angle, which tends to be pretty popular. Uh, it's a it's a, something that you see in a lot of knives, but it, it's not exactly the sliciest. And I feel this knife, and it comes down, and it's a little thick behind the edge. Um, you can kind of tell because when you with that twenty degree bevel, you really don't have a, a deep uh, bevel, and so I don't know. Uh, I guess if it's thinner, you're going to see more of the edge there. At this side, thicker you don't really see as much with a 20 degree. So I might, uh, next time I sharpen it, I got a book I write this stuff down and I might drop it down, but I just get impatient and it takes a while to kind of reprofile an edge uh, down to like a, say a 17, 18, 19. I might try that. Uh, I noticed that when I was cutting paper with this guy, let's get the book out. So we got next sheet of the old Spyderco catalog, and I'm cutting, and it's definitely cutting well. But there was some times that it was kind of it would kind of tear a little bit. It's not quite as sharp as the uh, backlash, which was like closer to a 17 degree angle. I don't know if that's maybe I reprofiled at one point. But if you, if you get it, oops, <laughs> now I'm really tearing it. So yeah, it's not, I wasn't as happy with the, uh, the, the edge on this one. You know, it could have something to do with me. I'm not the expert sharpener. But if I do catch it right, I do get cut, clean cuts. But it's not consistent. So that was one thing I wanted to mention. I think if I drop the angle a little bit, that might make the difference. We'll see. So that's pretty much it for the Moyarl. And I'm gonna move on. Uh, I've decided, I didn't really set up a, an order at which I do all these knives, but uh, I think for number three, I'm gonna go with the Beluga. Give that a try. That's a nice big wide blade. Um, it's a front flipper. So none of these other ones are front flippers. So a little bit different. Throw that one in the middle of the mix. So we'll see how that goes. Um, before I uh, finish up, I want to just talk about the fact that I'm almost at 600 subs. And uh, so I've been planning this one with with the 500 sub giveaway. It caught me off guard. It kind of bounced up kind of quick. This time I have a lot more time. It's just kind of slowly, like it normally does, uh, creep up. So I, uh, I've i been kind of going. I, I got here an Amazon package. Everybody knows what these looks like. And um, I've been kind of putting things into uh, my shopping list. And now I've uh, got this box. Unfortunately, one of the items that I wanted to get for the for the giveaway um, is a longer delivery. You know, uh, part of the reason why I go to Amazon uh, is the fact that you get things next day, you know. Uh, but this other one's taken like couple weeks to get so I don't know I only got three three more little subs to go before I get to 600 so that last item might have to wait for another another giveaway in the future 
But I'm going to just open up this box real quick just to uh, see if uh, I got what I think is in here. And these are all items for the giveaway. Obviously, I'm going to be going through stickers. And this is not the, the announcement for the giveaway. We're just kind of looking to see what we got in the box here. So um, I love these, this uh, work sharp, sharpener. I have one in my backpack that I take to work. And that way, uh, if I ever need it while I'm there... Or if like the one of the kitchen knives and at work is, needs a little touch up, you know, I'll throw it on this thing. It's got um, diamond, ceramic, and leather. Um, the leather is just a small little piece here, and then these are both diamonds. So they do well. Two different grits, uh, and then you got the ceramic bar on the end. Uh, that's real good for little touch ups. Um, it has this what they call a, a guided. Uh, sharpener because it has this 20 degree angle speaking of that 20 degree angle uh, it has it here and and if you start and you keep your your wrist nice and straight you can get your 20 degree all the way across uh, you can always adjust it that I tend to go um, a little bit more steep on my on my grind so I'll set it on there I'll kind of adjust it a little bit and then I'll cut it come across anyway so that guy's gonna be in the giveaway Got a little, uh, I've been hearing about this company. Everybody likes these little flashlights through night. It's a little Archer Mini. Um, I never, I don't have one of these, uh, but I heard that it's pretty good. So that's going to go in there. And the last thing is the knife. It's the Sin Cut. And I do have one of these. This is, this is going to be the, let me double check, make sure I got the right one. The Serene. Uh, so here's my Serene. This is in the Faulkner 5. It's probably going to be carried next week or the week. I'm not sure when. Uh, I love this knife. I think it's a really good one. Um, great budget knife. So this is going to be in the giveaway. This one's the all blacked out version. It looks pretty cool. Um, so everything's there that I thought was there. Um, in the, in the uh, storage video, I was talking about these things. I have one of these. It's brand new. Uh, I know someone was giving one away, and there was like a little seam that was not sewn correctly. But this one looks all like it's 100%. So that's that's going to be thrown in there. And then for my knife that I'm going to pass on that I've had for a long time is the Spyderco uh, Tenacious. And this is a great knife. This is one of my very first uh, flipper knives that I got. Uh, it, you know, if you don't, uh, have spider codes in your collection, this is a great one to start with. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. I was looking at it, even the pocket clip that is a little wear here and here, but, um, they do a good job of the coatings on here. So I'm not seeing a lot of bad wear on this. Uh, like I said, I've had it for a few years now. Uh, actions, maybe not. I think it's on washers, although spider coat does tend to be on washers. So the action isn't really drop shutty, but um, it flicks out really well. It's got a great detent. So throwing that one into the giveaway, we'll get some stickers, other things. If I happen to get that last item um, that's not due until the 31st of this month, it just depends how long it takes to get those last three subs, that might get thrown in, in too. But um, we'll see. So that's what's going on here at the channel. Uh, just the slow grow. Um, I'm happy with it. You know, I'm fine with not, you know, necessarily growing super fast. And I love all the people that watch, comment. Uh, everybody's so nice. I um, appreciate you all. Thank you all for watching. Um, another interesting thing coming up. Um, Maybe I don't want to announce it, but there is a, a company that did reach out to me and said they wanted to send me some knives. We'll get into more about how that is later. So that's a little bit different thing. Rather than just showing you what's in my collection, I might have the opportunity to be showing some other knives. So that's that's pretty exciting. We'll see where that all goes. I will uh, be talking to you guys on, on the next one, all right? You have a good one.